Genocide Noun The systematic killing of substantial numbers of people on the basis of their ethnicity, religion, political beliefs, social status, or other particularities. Genocide Verb to commit genocide against, to eliminate a group of people completely. Diplomats are urgently working towards a peace deal in the Middle East and hoping to avoid a wider regional conflict. Senior advisor to US President Joe Biden is visiting Beirut right now to meet the Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister. And speaking to the media, he emphasized the importance of these latest efforts. Speaker Barry and I also talked about the framework agreement that's on the table for a Gaza ceasefire, and he and I agreed there is no more time to waste, and there's no more valid excuses from any party for any further delay. U.S. President Joe Biden hopes that a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas in Gaza could deter Iran from launching attacks on Israel. The Iranian government has dismissed calls from the UK and other Western countries to refrain from retaliation against Israel for the killing of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran last month. Israel has neither confirmed nor denied involvement. Now, during a meeting of the UN Security Council, US ambassador said the temperature in the Middle East must be turned down. While in Washington, a $20 billion worth of arms sales to Israel was approved. Meanwhile, the fighting in Gaza continues, with Israel claiming to have killed about 100 Hamas fighters in Rafah, southern Gaza, in recent days. Palestinian medics say 19 people were killed in Israeli airstrikes on Tuesday. Among them, four-day-old twins, killed while their father was at a local government office registering their births. Their mother also killed. Our Middle East correspondent Lucy Williamson reports. For four days... Mohammed Abu Kumsan was a father. This day will haunt him forever. The day he left his newborn twins, Asil and Asa, at home with their mother while he went to collect their birth certificates and returned to find them killed in a strike on their building in Dera Bala. Today he prepared to bury them. A new parent, comforted like a child. I didn't even have time to celebrate them, he said. Gaza's health ministry says 115 infants, including Asil and Asa, have been born and killed during this war. We asked the Israeli army why the twins' family home was bombed and are waiting for a response. Fighting has continued across the Gaza Strip with both Israel and Hamas under fresh pressure to agree a ceasefire deal to calm spiraling regional threats. Today, Hamas released this video, which it said showed rockets being launched from Gaza towards Tel Aviv. Israel's army said one had crossed into Israeli territory and fallen into the sea. In the southern city of Khan Yunis, Displaced residents, not long returned, fled artillery and airstrikes again. <laughs> Who will breastfeed this baby? One resident cried over the ruins of a building. All her family were killed, even her mother. Reem Abu Haya, three months old, was pulled from the rubble, bruised and battered, the only survivor of an airstrike that her grandmother says killed her parents and eight siblings, along with ten other people. They are the terrorists, the ones that kill children. They are supported by America. Out of 20 people, this one is the only one left. The focus on Gaza now is shrinking as the threat of regional conflict grows. But each child left without a family, each father left without his children, is adding to the long shadow of this war. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Jerusalem. As to the origin of the present Jews in Palestine, he states that those Jews derived from Eastern Europe and many, many of the Jews that today live in the reconstituted state of Israel come from Eastern Europe are not descendants of the Judeans or the lost tribes of Israel, but rather descendants of the Khazars. Who are they? They were a nation 
most people do not even know of. He writes, the so-called self-styled Jews in Eastern Europe in modern history cannot legitimately point to a single ancient ancestor who ever set even a foot on the soil of Palestine in the era of Bible history. Research also revealed that the so-called or self-styled Jews in Eastern Europe were never Semites, are not Semites now, nor can they ever be regarded as Semites at any future time by any stretch of the imagination. What secret mysterious power has been able for countless generations to keep the origin and the history of the Khazars and the Khazar kingdom out of the history textbooks? Did you ever learn about it at school? I never learned about it. And out of classroom courses in history throughout the world, the origin and the history of Khazars and the Khazar kingdom are certainly incontestable historical facts. You have to do some cross-checking.